The ATEM Mini Pro is the perfect video switcher to pair with Easy Worship. You can live stream your services with lower thirds text using alpha channel out, or bring the feed into Easy Worship and send the output to your favorite streaming software. Let's dive in. In our previous video, we talked about the connections and features of the ATEM Mini Pro. But today, I want to talk through the different ways you can use it with Easy Worship. Sending the alpha channel output to the ATEM Mini Pro requires two video outputs from your computer that will plug into two of the HDMI inputs on the ATEM. One of the outputs is called the fill. The other output is called the key. And these two signals, when combined with your camera, give you the text overlay. Now let's walk you through the setup. Like I mentioned before, you need two video outputs from your computer. If you need additional outputs, you can use an external GPU to get all the outputs you need. In this case, we will assume you'll be using two cameras. So the first Easy Worship output will plug into the third input on the ATEM. Then the second output from the Easy Worship will plug into the fourth input on the ATEM. Then to be able to see the multi-view, plug in a cable from the HDMI out on the ATEM to your monitor or TV. The multi-view allows you to monitor the input sources and the program status of the ATEM. By default, the preview window is on the top left and the program, or what's live, is on the top right. Below that are the four input views, which you can see is where we have our two cameras and the fill and key for the alpha channel. Below that, you can also view the built-in media player and see the status for the streaming, recording, and audio mixer. Now that we're finished plugging everything in, we'll head to the display settings in Windows and make sure the two outputs we plugged into the ATEM are set up properly. At this point, you should see three monitors here. Your primary monitor and the two going to the ATEM. Just make sure the two secondary monitors are set to extended. If you identify the monitors, you should be able to see in the ATEM multi-view that they are both showing up correctly. Close the Windows Display Settings and open Easy Worship. Go to the Edit menu and then click Options. And you're going to set the output monitor to the correct setting. This will be your fill, so usually it's set to secondary. Then set the alpha channel to the correct setting. This will be the key. It's usually set to monitor 3. And that's all the setup we need to do in Easy Worship, so go ahead and click OK. If you haven't already, you will need to download and install the ATEM software control from Blackmagic's support site to be able to access the settings for the ATEM. Now, once that's done, open the ATEM setup and make sure it recognizes the ATEM Mini Pro. Remember, it does need to be connected to the local network or via USB for it to be recognized. Now, click the software icon to open the software control. If you want to change the names of your inputs, Go to the settings, which is the gear icon in the bottom left corner, and change them there in the label tab. For example, if camera one is a PTZ optics camera, you can name it that. I would also recommend naming the fill and key inputs since we will have to easily identify those in a moment when we set up the key. So you can name them fill and key like I did here. There are also some other options you can change in the settings. For example, under the General tab, change the video standard if you need to. And under the Multi-View tab, you can change the way your Multi-View looks. When you're finished in the settings, click Save. To set up the key, which again will be the lower thirds lyrics from Easy Worship, so the ATEM knows how to display it, you will need to go to the Palettes tab and click on Upstream Key. Then, under the Luma tab, set your fill source to Fill and the key source to Key. 
To activate the key overlay on the screen, the on air button needs to be pressed so that the red light is on. You can turn on air off to remove the key if you want, but you can also just click the clear button in Easy Worship to remove it. That way you won't have to go back to the ATEM software to turn it on and off. Even though you're using the Alpha channel, you can still go live to full screen videos, images, and other presentations in Easy Worship. When you're finished showing those, you can go live to your song or presentation with the background set to none to return to the camera view. You'll see the lyrics over the camera feed like this. And that's everything if you are sending your output to a projector or a TV. Unlike other presentation software, the greatest thing about this setup is that the Alpha channel is built into Easy Worship, so you don't need any other hardware like a DeckLink Duo to get it to work. You can send it directly from Easy Worship to the ATEM and you're ready to go. The last step of this setup, if you also want to send the output to a live stream, is setting up the server and stream key from your streaming platform in the ATEM Mini Pro. If you want to stream to Facebook, YouTube, or any other streaming platform, go back to the ATEM software control and click the output tab. From there, select your streaming platform, whether it be YouTube or Facebook, and enter the server and key settings that you'll get from that platform. Once those are set up, you can either click the on air button in the software control, or you can press the on air button on the ATEM to start streaming. Since the ATEM Mini Pro can be plugged into a computer via USB and can be seen as a webcam, alternatively, you can add it to Easy Worship as a camera feed and use that feed as a background to your songs, scriptures, and presentations. This is a very simple setup. We still have the output from the ATEM going to a separate monitor so we can see the multi-view. Since we're not sending the alpha channel out to the ATEM in this scenario, you can actually have up to four cameras plugged into it. Connect the ATEM to the computer using the USB cable and open Easy Worship. Go to the Media tab and click on Feeds. In the Feeds library, right-click the mouse and select Add New Feed. In the Feed Editor that opens, give it a name. We'll just call this one ATEM. And then click the drop-down to select a camera. The ATEM Mini Pro will be listed as an available camera called Blackmagic Design. Select it and you should see the preview for the camera come up on the left side. When you see that, go ahead and click OK. Now you can use this feed as your background and have your text overlaid on top of it. If you want to use Lower Thirds text, you can create themes so you don't have to set up your slides every time you want to use the feed. To create a song theme, right-click on your feed from the Media tab, and from the menu, select Copy to Theme, and then Song Theme. Now go to the Themes tab and you will see the theme listed under the Song Themes. Right-click on that theme and select Edit Song Theme. In the editor, click in the slide on the right-hand side and you'll see adjustment boxes come up around the text box. Click and drag the top one down to the lower thirds of the screen, and then click OK. If you want to use this theme as your default song theme, right-click on the theme in the library and select Set as Default Song Theme. So anytime you go live to a song that doesn't have a specific theme set to it, it will use this one or if you just want to use it occasionally, you can select it in the song editor for a specific song, or you can drag and drop it onto a song in the schedule. If you want to also create a scripture and presentation theme, you'll follow the same steps, but when you right-click the feed under Media, you'll select to copy it to scripture or presentation themes. Now we can go live to a song and still use the ATEM to switch the cameras. 
Whatever input we select on the ATEM will show as the background in Easy Worship when you're using that theme. Live streaming in this scenario will have to be done from a streaming service like OBS, vMix, or Wirecast, or something similar. You can't use the live streaming built into the ATEM Mini Pro because the final output is not going through it. Easy Worship makes it simple by being able to send the output through NDI to any of those services. And then that service will stream your output live to the platform of your choice. The ATEM Mini Pro is only $595 US dollars, and for what it can do is a great price. But if you're capturing the feed in Easy Worship as a webcam, you could optionally get the lower priced ATEM Mini, which is only 295 US dollars. It can do everything the Mini Pro can do except live stream and record the live output. The ATEM Mini Pro is a powerful switcher and its ease of use with Easy Worship and live streaming will make you look like the pro you are. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, be sure to click the notification bell and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Easy Worship.